Croatia is marking today 25 years since the fall of Vukovar. After a brutal months-long siege, the eastern Croatian town fell to Serb-led forces on November 18, 1991. Events marking the somber anniversary began at Vukovar Hospital this morning with a large crowd of people from all over the country and Croatia's leadership in attendance. Prime Minister Andrei Plenković said Vukovar Memorial Day was an opportunity to express deep gratitude and respect to all those who gave their lives for their country, adding that the spirit of unity seen in Vukovar today should give impetus to working toward a brighter future. Thousands of people marched today in the Vukovar Memorial procession led by veterans and the families of those who were killed in the siege and after. The attack on the city began in late August of 1991. Around 1,800 soldiers and volunteers from all over the country managed to hold off the enemy's advance for three months. In the end, 4,000 people died. After the fall, the Yugoslav army rounded up wounded civilians and soldiers from Vukovar Hospital, executing more than 200 of them at the Ovchara farm over two days between November 20th and the 21st. Wreaths were laid and candles lit at the Homeland War Memorial Cemetery today in memory of all of the soldiers and civilians who died in Vukovar. Following the occupation of the city, several thousand Croatian soldiers were transferred to concentration camps in Serbia and 22,000 non-Serbs were expelled. To this day, 309 people from the Vukovar area remain unaccounted for. Along with Vukovar, Škabrnja has also become a tragic symbol of the carnage of Croatia's homeland war. Around a thousand people gathered in this Dalmatian hinterland village today to march in a procession to honor the dozens of civilians and soldiers who were killed there by rebel Serb forces 25 years ago. Ivan Dodig and doubles partner Marcelo Melo have failed to advance to the semi-finals of the ATP Tour Finals in London after losing to Jamie Murray and Bruno Suarez 6-3, 3-6, 10-6. This is the Croatian-Brazilian duo's last doubles appearance together. Dodig is moving on to partner up with Spaniard Marcel Granollers. There is only eight days left in the countdown to the Davis Cup final between Croatia and Argentina at the Zagreb Arena. Croatia coach Željko Krajan has confirmed he is counting on Borna Cioric, who appears to be recovering well from recent knee surgery. Medvedchak lost their home game last night against Finnish side Jokerit five goals to two. Zagreb remains in 13th place in the Western Conference with 35 points, 11 short of the 8th place they need to advance to the playoffs. Today's forecast calls for variable clouds with occasional rain, which may be heavier in places on the coast and in the mountains. Central and eastern Croatia will see mostly dry weather with partly sunny skies. Moderate southerly southwesterly winds are expected in the interior. There will be a moderate to high southeasterly wind on the coast. Temperature highs for the day will range from 13 to 18 degrees Celsius. Variable weather with occasional rain is expected on Saturday in the interior. There could be some heavier downpours in the mountains. Sunday and Monday will be partly sunny and dry. There is a chance of rain, but mostly in the mountains. Unstable weather is expected on the coast over the coming days. There will be showers and thunder showers, especially in the north, where precipitation could be quite heavy. A moderate to high southeasterly is expected, reaching gale force on Saturday.